and welcome. Today I did some coloring in a coloring book that I just featured. I believe it was my last video or maybe my second to last video. So I will link that in the corner here for you. In case you missed that, you can catch up on that. But since that's a relatively short video because I have to time lapse it for you so you don't get bored out of your mind, I thought I would show you every coloring book that I have, including my watercolor ones, which I have shown a few in the past already and I will link that video for you here as well when that time comes. All right, let's get into all of the coloring books I have. All right, are you guys ready to see all my coloring books? It's a lot, it's like a really big pile here. To my credit though, I did inherit the ones from my mom when she passed away, so some of these were hers. All right, you've seen Watercolor With Me in the Jungle, in the Ocean, and in the Forest, if you've been following me for a while, because I featured these three pretty in-depth in one of my previous videos. So I will find that video. It may have been in a couple videos, but I will find the main video and link it up here in the corner for you. But these are great because, just to recap, you need to go watch that video, but real quick, these are on watercolor paper. Oh look, there's one that I actually did. And they give you, she, Dana Fox is the author, gives you the instructions and the colors to use step by step and you end up with something kind of fun. So this is a smaller one. These are previous editions of hers and they are about twice as full as this one. These older editions here, the paper is a little bit thicker I guess it's thicker, I don't know, it's different. It is better <laughs> than the new one in the jungle. But anyway, same thing. But you get 50 pages in this one, 25 in this one, and these are for watercolor specifically. So this one is just different in the fact that the painting then is on the left and the instructions are on the right. These are super fun. Love them and I highly recommend them. Then I have several Creative Haven books looks like. I'll just show them to you one at a time. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth or detail because I don't want to bore you guys to death, but this is steampunk. I will flip through these just kind of real fast. I don't know that any are colored in here. I thought I did one or someone did one, but it doesn't look like it. Man, and I love steampunk and I haven't done a single one in here. Well, oh well. <laughs> All right, art for kids cartooning. I don't think this should be in this pile. This is a how to draw book, but that is fun and I have a place for this so I will put that somewhere else. How to draw 101 animals. This is kind of fun too. This is also for kid, like kid level, but I think it would be great for me as an adult as well because it can simplify certain animals and I like that and that's why we have this. Okay, back to coloring books. Fanciful faces. I think this one was my mom's. No, nope, this is something I've done. So I think what I am thinking of is that this is the same book that I got from my grandma because she really likes these ladies. Yeah, I haven't done anything but that little bit of hair. So I have a lot of work to do. This one's really cool. Country scenes. This is also Creative Haven. And I believe I've started some of these. What may happen, like this one is, yeah, perforated. So I do have one of these or two of these started, but I must have pulled it out and put it over in my little boxes on the side. So there was one of these scenes I started. Color your own Monet. This one is kind of crazy, but I think it could be really fun. So double-sided. Another creative haven. This one's the Seascapes one. Looks like we have some Oh, here is a steampunk. So one of the steampunks got started. It just got pulled out. I'm trying to see. So seascapes, right? Yep. So this is one I guess I did in colored pencil in 2017. A uh, lady. So one of the ladies was kind of pulled out and done. This is marker. I don't have a date on that one. One of the steampunks. I did finish this one back in 2015. Tells you how long I've had these books and not finished them. This is a copy of a page. My mom and I would sometimes just make a copy and try and do them together. Some stocking caps. So that is not part of the Seascapes book, but those were all just put in there probably to keep them safe. Now these were like color by number kind of things. 
that my mom made a bunch of copies for me for, and so they could be really fun. I thought I saw one. So yeah, see here more book copies on pretty nice, wow, nice thick paper. I thought I saw one, there we go. I don't know, that is not my work. I don't know whose work that is. That one is mine. Apparently I finished all of it except for the owl. <laughs> I should probably finish the owl. And enough of that one. Next is The Dreamscapes. Now this one's a really fun book. Oh, we have more copies, however. Okay, let's pull those out and look at those in a second. So here are the dreamscapes. And they are very complex, like a lot of little details on some of them. Cool. My mom did this one, 2014. So this must have been my mom's book, because that was also done in 2014. Okay. This looks like right after she was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. She was in the hospital actually at this time, so she must have done these in the hospital. Or maybe when she was back at home on rest. Anyway, dreamscapes. That one's a fun one. So, okay, it looks like pulled out a couple of these. That looks like from dreamscapes. That's really cool. Don't have who did that. If it was her, I think it was my mom. This is with gel pens. Colored pencil, gel pens. I believe all of these were my mom. We will stick those back in there. So that's a fun book. The Creative Haven Art Nouveau Animal Designs. Now this book is a little bit warped, so I wonder if maybe it got some something wet spilled on it. Oh wow, these are really cool. So I know I'm not showing you like open pages every page, but they do have live previews of these on Amazon, so I will try and find each of these and link for you. Garden Party, this one was my mom's. I don't know if these were perforated or she did them, looks like she did them in the book, 2015. That one's really cute. Well, she did a lot. Oh, so there's the owl. She must have made a copy for me. So these are double-sided. And look, uh, she only painted, or painted, she only colored this side, but it like put all kinds of color over on this side. Hmm, interesting and good to know. I think she was probably using her Prismacolor colored pencils. Oh, it says this is her first picture. Must be the first one she ever completed. That's kind of fun. All right. My mom in 2015. I assume this is maybe her as well. Not sure. That one is not signed. I don't know, she looked like she's pretty good at signing them, so maybe that's someone else's. More copies. Yikes. Could color for decades, right? And never finish all of this. So much coloring. Oh, it looks like here is the ones she did, the copies for the color by numbers. So this is kind of neat because you have the numbers and they have the color code and you just color them by numbers and it's, I think it can be really fun. There's one that's done. How cool is that? And yeah, you can see the numbers through the colors, but I don't feel like that's a problem. I think it's kind of neat. Another Creative Haven Winterscapes coloring book. Looks like my mom did that one as well. Wow, she was really busy with her coloring books for a while. <laughs> Probably because we were in the hospital so much. <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> Felt like every day, lots of waiting. Neat, winterscapes, that one's fun. All right, nature escapes, intricate animals and patterns. I just found this in a box that I emptied this very Saturday. So I spent like six hours trying to get through boxes and stuff in my house. I know I've mentioned to you before I moved to this house that I'm in now with the entire contents of my house and the entire contents of my mom's house and so I have been trying to get through boxes slowly but surely. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Looks like this one was started with gel pens. Lots of animals. Wow, cool. She did this one in Lake Powell. That was kind of a sad trip because I thought that was going to be her last trip to Lake Powell with us. 
we did end up going one more time before we lost her. But I remember that trip because it was heartbreaking watching her look around and see things, maybe for the last time. <laughs> This one's neat, I like that one. Yep, and Bo has joined us, of course, because I'm talking to you guys. Now this one is pretty cool because it's thicker paper and it's one-sided. So if you wanted to use markers or anything that might bleed through, just stick another piece of paper in here and you do it to your heart's content because you don't have a design on the other side that you have to worry about hurting, which is really neat. So there's one, I did that one I think with you guys on a video not that long ago. And there's another one. <laughs> are you are you helping? Okay, so that one's kind of cool. Now this is one of yeah, Christy Rice's. Now Steve Mitchell over at the Mind of Watercolor has done a lot with her books as far as I can remember. So they've been featured over there a lot. And I think that's why I ended up getting this one. So she has these jackets on here so that when you're doing your piece you can put this down like that and not have to worry about bleeding through to this page and the cool thing is the design on the front is mirrored on the back oh it is not mirrored okay it's the same though on the back so you can do the colors here and then you can try it again it's the exact same design on the back side so basically, I thought she said in her intro on this is that the point is if you do bleed through or something, it's not a big deal because it's the same design or maybe the similar colors. I think that's what she said. I don't know. We could look that up here in the beginning, but eh, it's not that important. But anyway, lots and lots of pages, and this paper is really thick. So you can see I've used some, this is the Core Mini palette, the watercolor paint and it did not even bleed through at all with watercolor paint, so that's cool. And this one was the Marabou Aqua Graphics markers. Okay, so if anything's gonna bleed through, those are, and they did not, so that's fun. I should really finish this one. I started it at the lake at Blue Mesa with my little core mini palette, and that was kind of fun, but things were drying really fast because we had a breeze that day, I remember. So yeah, this would be a fun one to take camping again. And then these two are the ones I just featured in that last video, which I've already linked in the corner for you. This is the Cedar Markers one that has some really cool intricate details that would be fun with gel pens or markers. Okay, these, I haven't done very many in here. I thought I did a bunch of these with markers. Oh, there's one. I was going to say, I remember doing more than the elephant, but I couldn't find it. But here's the fish, and I like that one. I did do that one. I should date. Oh, I did date it. I did that in 2018. This one I started, this is where I had the gel pen marking my place, and it was this color. I think I was going to try and do more with that color, but I went ahead and finally put the gel pen away so I could put this book away and not take up extra space by having a gel pen in there. My niece did that one. Started a tree. So yeah, not very focused on this book, but a few of them are done. And this one, okay, so. Lots of cool designs, so I kind of showed you that. And then I did color one in here. All right, I will show you my coloring and we'll have fun with this book. I love this book. The reason I showed you this coloring book in that previous video was because we received these markers, these Stabilo markers in the Palletful Packs box and they weren't great for the Bristol paper, but I thought they might really be good for coloring books. That's why I showed them to you. and. I'm using them in this coloring book to try it out, and you can see with the elephant, eh, I wasn't all that impressed. I'm like, hmm, I don't know if these are going to be good for coloring books or not. But then when I went up into the balloons, I really liked them, so maybe just not really big open spaces. Granted, these balloons, they still have a lot of, I don't know, open space, so to speak, that you still have to fill in. I guess it's just a little bit different. It's a little bit more broken up than the elephant was, and they worked better up there. So when I did the elephant, I'm like, okay, I'll finish this drawing with these markers, but then I think I will pass them on. So put them in my giveaway bin, see if somebody else can use them some point down the road, we'll see. But I don't know, then I did the balloons and I'm like, well, they aren't bad, they're, they're okay for coloring. So I think maybe if you want to do these markers with a little bit more intricate design, that would be better than these more open space designs. 
So if you have them, I guess, let me know what you think. <laughs> have you tried coloring big spaces, little spaces? What do you use them for? A lot of people I know already commented in that previous video that they think of them as school markers, basically something you would buy for elementary school and they are pretty affordable in most cases, even though on Amazon they're pretty expensive. Now Joanna Basford uses, it seems to me in all the videos I've seen anyway, exclusively colored pencils. Now she uses a bunch of different brands in her books and that's kind of fun to see the differences between the brands because she does talk about that in some of her live streams. But anyway, uh, this is marker, not colored pencil, and there it is all done. Up close and personal, what do you guys think? It was fun, I'm glad it's finished. I decided not to do a background, or maybe I'll come in later with watercolor to do a background, but for now, that's what I have. I guess I'll keep the markers in my coloring stuff for now and see how it goes. Well, that's a wrap of all of my coloring books. I hope you had fun, but before you go, I have a question for you. It seems like it would be really fun to color with other people, so I was wondering if you guys might be interested in doing some kind of online coloring get together collaboration thing maybe where we just all color for an hour a week together so let me know if you're interested in that tell me in the comments below all right that's it for now i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye i have a cat playing with something really loud of course right when i'm trying to film so if you hear noise it's the cat I should finish that one i think i did this hmm. I should finish it. Oh gosh, I can't talk. <laughs> but I don't want to show ya! <laughs> <laughs>